everybody welcome back to another video here on financial friends today i am going to be talking about some of my favorite financial tools some things that i utilize on a very very consistent basis and how i utilize these tools to help me invest create videos and be a better person financially so if you are new to the financial friends youtube channel first and foremost i want to say welcome to the channel i hope that you stick around and join the friend group by hitting subscribe if you are a returner you're excited for this video um, and if you're excited in general even if you are new go ahead hit that like button it greatly greatly helps out the channel helps show this video to more people which hopefully can leave a like down below as well and show this video to more people and more people so we can grow the friend group and spread financial literacy financial education and just talk and chat about finance within a group that is judgment free so without further ado let's go ahead and dive into my favorite and i think the best financial tools that are out there First and foremost, we're gonna talk about YouTube. Obviously, you are here watching this video right now live on YouTube. Well, not live, but on YouTube. Um, and I think, again, these key points here, it is a fantastic place to get your feet wet and learn about finance, understand what other people are doing, maybe be entertained a bit too. Hopefully, I can be kind of entertaining sometimes. Um, but you can also take in news. There's different how-tos, tutorials. Um, people will do full-blown walkthroughs of portfolios, which, I myself have done. Um, one of my favorite channels, Everything Money, will talk about different stocks every single day. They're breaking down a stock using their own, you know, proprietary website to analyze cash flow and dividends and historic price and all these other different things that you're just not gonna get anywhere else for free, right? It is a free tool. It's fantastic, and I think a big thing, and it's gonna come up a lot here. You can find new people and new perspectives whenever you're investing. And perspective is crucial, right? We all get locked into our own firm beliefs that we think this is the best and this is the one way to invest and this is how the world works and the economy works and the market works. And we forget that there are other ways to look at things and analyze and take other people's perspectives. And that can be extremely beneficial. So quickly, you're already here. You know what YouTube is. I'm not going to bore you to death with this, um, but consider subscribing. I'm 10 subs away from 600, looking to push to that 1,000 and further, so I would appreciate your support on that. But here within the YouTube channel, something that you might not notice, you might glance over, um, is the playlist tab. So I have broken down some of my videos, and I will continue to break them down so that you guys can easily find videos on a topic that you would like to find. But the dividend journey here. I used to number each and every one here in the title. I stopped doing that, but I'm still updating every single week, talking about a new topic related to dividends, and I'm putting all of those videos within one playlist. Same goes for investing basics. Anytime I talk about something that's specific to investing or some form of basic, I like to talk about it and then place it here in this playlist. That way you're easily able to find it and identify what you need. I also do a podcast every single week on what is going on in the world of finance. That video is placed here within the This Week in Finance tab, of course. And then individual stocks. Anytime I talk about an individual company for an extended period of time, I'm going to make sure that video gets thrown in here. That way you guys are all able to find it. And if you're considering, you know, taking a look at a company or you just want a little bit more information, hopefully I can provide that for you. Uh, this is really my first big in-depth video here. This Target is a growth company, so consider giving that a view if you're interested in Target. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one, the next best or these are in no particular order, but another thing I really like to use is news outlets. Now, a lot of news outlets are very dramatic, very clickbaity. However, they can still be useful for the facts and the actual information that you do need to gain to what is going on in the world of finance, investing, business, etc. So clearly we're going to utilize them to stay up to date, but I also think they're beneficial so that you can find new opportunities in investing. If you're not someone who's exposed to news, you might not know what exactly is going on overseas or what's going on um, here or there or what markets are you know, doing good, doing poorly, where's inflation, all these other things. So you might be able to find some type of new opportunity or new company once they make the news. Oftentimes that's price of either you know negative to the downside, some poor news comes out or some positive news comes out. Um, it's already baked into price, but I still think that it is useful to find new opportunities. And then also you get to know why things are happening. 
So you might not know that inflation is doing this and this is how it's affecting this company, who's affecting that company, et cetera, those chain effects, those you know things that are anomalies that you're really not sure what's going on. Uh, the news helps you find that out. And if you watch This Week in Finance, you will know that one of my favorites is CNBC, and I highly recommend them for anyone who's a bit newer and or is not looking to pay for something. I do not pay anything to utilize CNBC.com, and it is pretty fantastic. There are some paid things. You can see here this pro and this pro here, and then if you see anything that says club, those are all behind little paywalls, but for the most part, the good quality information that you need quickly is all going to be just a simple click away. Like, let's go ahead. This just broke uh, about 39 minutes ago, which it was a, you know, this article was written, but the news dropped a little while ago. But Amazon announces a 20 to 1 stock split. You can go ahead, check out the article, see the key points. They're going to throw in some pictures, some videos, and oftentimes there's some interactive graphs or things like that as well. And you can also see what is really trending. So obviously, Amazon, we have the president making an executive order and then Tesla and a few other things as well. So that helps me kind of keep what's top of mind with everybody else with, you know, bringing that myself up to speed on that. And then they break things down for business, investing. There's also some personal finance things. So it's a fantastic tool to utilize. I highly recommend it. But there's also Bloomberg um, and a few different other you know news outlets that get across the same information as well. It might just cost you a little bit of money. Moving forward, public in specific, but also social media in general. A key point here is that it allows you to have fun with investing and learn from people who are maybe on your same skill level, your peers, someone you've became friends with. A lot of times it can be kind of demeaning to hear from someone who's way better than you at something. Oh, this is how you need to do it. And this is how it should be done. That's really what I'm trying to do is kind of break that barrier for a lot of people. Be a spot where there's no judgment. I'm not talking in big, fancy words. I'm trying to be as relatable as possible and just give you the information that you actually need. Um, So that's really what I'm trying to do. But you can do that same thing both on public or any other social media as well. Staying up to date and informed. I said this was going to come up. It's going to continue to come up. Being up to date and being informed when you're investing in the stock market is perfect. Now, if you want to invest passively, use ETFs. You don't necessarily need to stay as updated and informed. However, it does always help to be kind of current in what's going on in the world. And again, new perspectives is crucial. This kind of goes along with learning from peers, um, but understanding that your way of thinking is not the only way of thinking. We'll go ahead and hop on to public. I do have a bit of a platform over there. Um, About 3,800 and 14 of you have followed me over there, and I greatly, greatly appreciate that. Your support, your interaction. I love being on public, spending time reading other people's posts. Um, But this is my account here. If you want, you can also join. There's a free stock uh, down below. There's a link. It'll be down a little bit. But uh, go ahead, click that. Join on to public. You can get a free stock. Uh, I get a little kickback as well, so I greatly appreciate if you do utilize it. Um, But we can hop over into the community section, and here is a fantastic community, a tight-knit community, I will remind you, a very, very tight-knit, but we talk about everything here. Public also brings on some, you know, big wigs, the CEO of Paysafe is going to be joining, answering some questions. It's just a great overall place to be. So I encourage anyone who's looking for some type of a home where they can really learn about finance, chat with others, kind of scroll just like Twitter, Instagram. You can post pictures, links, videos on here. Um, It's a fantastic place to be. And you can also, like I said, go ahead, give me a follow. I am posting on here constantly. I post every single day on here post three times a week on YouTube and every single day on public, dropping some type of little tidbit knowledge, posting my video, you know, whatever it might be. I'm always on here talking to everybody. So uh, come over and join me. It's a great tool. But also, again, like I said, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, anywhere where you feel comfortable joining and talking about stocks or other information is a fantastic place to be. Moving forward is going to be a tracker. So some type of stock tracker, Yahoo Finance works fantastic to keep, you know, like I said, all your stocks up to date, but also your tax slots and your average cost. So every time you're purchasing a stock, you're buying at a different price. If you log that in Yahoo Finance, you can remember, okay, on this day I bought at 15 bucks, but 
10 days from then I bought at 20 bucks and a week from that point I bought for $12. And that way you know when you were buying, what price it was. And then also if you own a stock on Fidelity and Charles Schwab and maybe you own it on Public and uh, whatever, Weeble, Robinhood, whatever it might be, you can average all those costs together. It will do that for you. Um, and you can keep track of what your average cost spread out over all of your portfolio is. I use this, it's like a master portfolio. So I merge every single portfolio I have together. We also, uh, also can get news. So this news will be sorted for you. And you might get like a push notification on your phone saying, you know, McDonald's or Delta or whatever stocks you do invest in. And it'll have the little piece of news right there for you. I think that's perfect for people who are just starting out. They don't necessarily want to go in, check up on everything. It'll kind of just, boom, push you that right away. I also highly recommend using the dividend tracker. If you follow my dividend journey, there'll be a link up there or down there somewhere for it. Go ahead and check it out. I utilize the dividend tracker and this will kind of add everything together could put again your uh, average cost will be in there how many shares you own then it'll tell you when you're getting paid how much you can get paid those dividends will be you know it'll show this dividends being paid at this time and this is how much your fair portfolio is this and that so if you're curious about that go ahead check it out there's a link again below in the description but yahoo finance will go ahead and show you that pretty stable or pretty uh pretty much a staple. That's what I, that's the word I'm looking for. In the finance community, I know a ton of people utilize Yahoo Finance. Again, ton of news, personal finance related stuff, loading your portfolio in, adding all your different tax lots, news specifically curated for the stocks that you do own. Fantastic tool. Go ahead, browse around, check it out. Um, it's a great place to go ahead and learn and collect news information as well. And the last but not least, probably the most important one on here for beginners and i really hope that any beginner has stuck around and you could please utilize this website it's fantastic investopedia investopedia is the encyclopedia of investing it's basically a google search for anything finance or investing related i absolutely love it i absolutely love it let's go ahead and just check it out we won't even get to talking about that stuff here is investopedia all right, it's gonna show you stock information. It's gonna show you markets. You can actually paper trade on here so you can practice with investing and seeing how you can pick stocks or ETFs. It has news, it has current events, it has everything. A stock simulator and place to learn. It has everything. I absolutely love this tool. I highly recommend that you utilize it. Term of the day, you can literally sort all the terms but it's fantastic. I love it. I really love it. I recommend it for every beginner, but simply here, kind of showing you how to get started. We're not sure we want to look up Roth IRA. We go ahead and search it up. Boom. Roth IRA definition, Roth IRA contribution limits, backdoor Roth IRA, tax treatment. I mean, it just has everything. So let's go hop into the Roth IRA definition. We pull that up and now it has every single little question we could possibly have some key takeaways, and you can watch videos, and then you can also click through. So let's say you were confused about pass-through. Click on pass-through, boom. It's gonna talk about it for you. Double taxation, boom, pulls it right up. Dividends, you should know dividends. Go ahead, watch dividend journey videos. But boom, pulls it up for you. Uh, let's go earnings, boom. Pulls it up for you. You get the point, right? Unlimited access to financial literacy and information through this website. I highly recommend that you check it out. If you're going to check out any website, please, please, please check out Investopedia. I highly recommend it. I utilize it all of the time. There's constantly some type of word or phrase or idea, concept that I'm unfamiliar with. You can hop right in. You can check it out. You can get quick and easy access. Just the other day, I was making a post for yield on cost. I was like, ah, I need a quick definition. I just need to really understand what it is. Yield on cost, yield on cost defined, boom. I have it all right here. All of the information is perfectly laid out so that I can understand the concept quickly and easily. So 
that about does it for this video. Again, those were my five things that I highly recommend that you check out in terms of investing, personal finance, just the best tools out there to really gather information, learn new perspectives, invest, and have a good time investing. These tools make it easy for me to do so. They make it easy for me to make content and share everything with you here on YouTube. So if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing, join the friend group. Please go ahead and leave a like. Like I said, greatly helps out helps push this video to more people. And with that being said, I'll talk to you all in the next one. Have a great day.